Drops back. Goes deep over the middle. Fabian Hernandez. What a catch. Trips and Graham takes to the air, but it is picked off. Poland up the middle and hits Fabian Hernandez. Hernandez with his second touchdown. Under center, drops back, takes to the air. Cade Smith streaking and he catches it and he's off to the races. He's able to break one tackle, but he is caught up. He took it all the way down to the three yard line. J.J. Duran gives it to Mole again, the senior running back. And they're signaling touchdown. Poland gives a flag down, but Poland's going to take this one himself. Bounces to the outside, makes two men miss. So Hunter Taylor brings the Riverhawks to first and goal. Ball on the six. D.J. Duran. Hands it off to Ian Mole. Ian Mole comes in like a wrecking ball, and that will be good for six as the Riverhawks take their first lead in this one. Duran gives it to Ian Mole. Mole breaks the tackle. He's off to the races. Cuckoo trying to catch him, but he cannot as Ian Mole gets his third touchdown of the game this time. It's a long one. Third and eight. Snap, Poland. Dropping back goes deep. It is caught for a touchdown. Calling that one in. Gavin Buchanan. Poland airs it out. And it is picked off by the Riverhawks. Looked like a bit of a miscommunication and that loss is a big gain for Chihuahua as Justin Weber hauls that one in. Poland. What a hit. The Riverhawks. A huge hit by, that is number 58, Lane Hendrick. Being a kicker, a big situation. For Aaron Lowry, it's up, and it's good. That will be the ball game. It came down to a kick, and Aaron Lowry coming up big for those that don't give kickers a look. This is exactly what they practice for, and Chiawana pulling, I think it's fair to say, an upset over Kamayak in the final 22 19 in four quarters and overtime came down to a kick to put the final nail in the coffin. A great game and we'll have Jeff Morrow here again to break down this one in this early MCC matchup as the Riverhawks show that they might be competitive here. Not might, they are competitive, taking down Kamayakin. Kamayakin, not losing a single MCC game last season, not losing a single game until the state. Here we are late, but Chiawana putting a big statement here in week one. This is past my bedtime. It's a, well, a long game, but it was a great game. Uh, loved, loved the fight that Chiawana had coming back. I mean, they could have just uh, let things, you know, go and, and Ian Mole had a great game with three touchdowns for the for the Riverhawks uh, and great defensive pressure there in that overtime by Chihuahua to, to force that fumble and uh, and stop Mike and on their, their their offensive side for that overtime. A real chess match there and I think what you know I was saying was Chihuahua had to replace Michael Cott and for this yeah. game to come down to a kick really showed you know next man up. Right, right. I don't know who 72 was. I didn't look at the roster, but he had a really long field goal attempt that was had the distance. It was like 45 yards. So, but they they bring Lowry in for those situations, and he did a great job. So that's a pressure kick, it really is. 
It is, and they're stepping up. And what does this mean? I mean, early on, Chiawana, you know, being 5-5 five and five last year, right. Mayakin didn't lose a game until the state semifinal. So what does this game mean? Uh, well, everybody knows they've, they've played some opponents now. Each team has played, you know, somebody besides their own jersey, you know, in practice for weeks. And I think what it means is that, okay, we can afford a loss, but there is going to be some more tough games coming down the pike. Kennewa uh, beat Pasco 43 to nothing tonight. Richland and Southridge are going to be good teams this year too. So one loss does not mean you know the end of the season. And Mike and I know Biglin and his staff, they have they will get everything that seemed to go wrong for them. They will get it right tonight. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, you Jeff. And taking a look, that DJ Duran knew that it would be his. His offense and now having Mayakin, second quarterback in Poland, a good showing. But it would be Chiawana tonight. So the final from the Neil F. Lanson Stadium, Chiawana 22, Kamayakin 19 from all of us here in the broadcast crew. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Jamie Council. Have a good night.